Chase Okam runs um, Trade Wave Limited and he's also diversifying. Um, and, and Chase Okam, tell us about Trade Wave. And I, I want you to tell us about Trade Wave because agriculture is truly important, but there's nothing wrong with diversifying while you equally um, implement agricultural projects. So tell us exactly how you set up Trade Wave and what Trade Wave does. All right, um, all protocols duly observed. Uh, it's a privilege to be here. Thank you so much, Ma. And um, first of all, I'd like to say this before I start. I took a lot of um, comfort listening to His Royal Highness. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, when you put up the caveat that um, you're not really into agriculture, but you have people, I took a lot of comfort in that because I felt very different having come into an agricultural event, um, having not been into agriculture myself. So thank you so much for that. Uh, it's a lot of comfort to me, and thank you so much. So um, Treadwave is um, is a company that we built. Uh, we started um, three years ago, and we're into uh, portfolio management, financial trading, and lately we're diversifying into real estate. Um, so Treadwave is a company that um, was built out of passion. I'm trained as a physical therapist. Then after school. But when I was about to round up school, I began to ask questions, questions like, um, what will I do after school? I knew I had a lot of passion for um, the medical field, but um, there was something about me that just made me to understand that I wasn't caught out for that field, and that is the fact that I was a bit too emotional. I remember a particular case where I was managing a patient in school, a stroke patient, and I burst into tears. And you can imagine that being a patient and your doctor is crying. That's the problem. <laughs> so <laughs> that let me know that this is, uh, this is a field I will most likely want to leave as soon as possible. So I started planning my exit to go into something that was, uh, I was a bit more cut out for. And that was financial trading for me. So I started Trade Wave as a personal stuff. Uh, trade, made some money, started managing people's funds also in brokerage accounts. And everything was going well. So I decided, okay, and because uh, the industry that I am currently is a youth industry, kind of. The major players in the industry are quite are youths between the age of, let's say, 17 to maybe 30, thereabouts. So quite a young population. And I decided to do something different because for most people in the industry, it's a matter of um, just survival. It wasn't business. It was a matter of survival. Um, if there's no opportunity, okay, let's trade. Let's trade CFDs, let's trade commodities, let's trade stocks, make money and have enough just for myself, my family and all. But we decided to make an institution out of it. So I built a company out of what was a personal passion and a quest for financial freedom. And thank God for what um, it's doing today. Um, today we've helped hundreds of people to um, attain some form of level of financial freedom for themselves. Um, we're doing it a lot also, especially in real estate right now. We're helping people to afford, you know, their first properties, their first landed, becoming landlord for the first time, and I mean young people. So um, that's part of what we're doing, and I'm excited about the project um, that Shade Africa also has, which we're looking into partnering sometime. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. Can we please put our hands together?